Well, hey babes, what is up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing another Thrift With Me Home Edition. If you guys know from my previous vlog, I am actually in the stages of currently doing a bedroom makeover. My bedroom is like a big white box. It's so boring and bland, and I wanna go ahead and just turn it into a bedroom that I love. So for today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me probably over the next couple of days to different thrift stores where we're gonna be looking for some home decor and furniture for the new bedroom. If there's anything there that I could find that I can flip, that would be perfect. I really want the room to give off like a vintage vibe, so maybe some some cool artwork, some nice pillowcases. Like, like I really want to get creative with the things that we're looking for. Here's my little mood board of what I'm hoping this bedroom will achieve. I just want it to have so much character and personality, especially because I film a lot of my Instagram and YouTube content there. But I have a good feeling about today, so you already know it's gonna be a good thrift trip. So without further ado, come thrift with me for my dream bedroom. Let's go. Okay guys, made it to the furniture section and oh my god, this is my day. Okay guys, something that I've been dreaming of having in this bedroom is a little getting ready makeup vanity station because I'll tell you what, my husband is constantly annoyed that I leave my makeup thrown all around the countertop of our bathroom. So I really, really wanted to have some place that I can just go ahead and like do my makeup and this is perfect. Obviously it's roughed up, but it's nothing that we can't fix. These are a little bit loose, so we still have to either fix that or change the knobs, but this would be so perfect for all of my makeup. And the best part is that it's only 12 99 this is insane i'm literally reeling i can't believe that i found the perfect vanity for my bedroom it's gonna be so fun to recreate and diy that one but i just found something else that is so cool and just such a beautiful color and it's basically this big chest i've always wanted like a vintage looking chest and I, and I love the navy blue with the gold hardware okay you know what i'm actually thinking i was looking to have a place to store my shoes or even like my accessories i personally do a lot of styling videos in my bedroom so i wanted a place to kind of throw like my hats my purses this would actually be perfect i have a perfect spot in the bedroom that i could just sit on the floor and it's honestly gorgeous too it's only 14.99 and i mean think about it this would be such a good place to store some toys if you want it to still look aesthetic in your house okay i really didn't expect to find two big things that i already love but onto the decor in terms of artwork and frames i absolutely love these two <gasps> even this one look at this for the vanity it's got like some perfume bottles and some jewelry on it that is so pretty and then these ones next to one another i love the colors it's perfect for my bedroom because we're gonna have a green and pink sheets. Okay, such perfect frames. Who is ready for day two? Let's go. Well, hi lovelies. It's officially day two and I'm so excited to go ahead and keep thrifting for my dream bedroom. Before I head on in, I thought it would be really good to tell you guys a few things that I'm going to be keeping my eye out for specifically. In my last vlog, I actually found some curtains that I technically messed up. I made them a little bit too short, but now there's a part of me that kind of thinks it would be really cool to be able to thrift my curtains. Like if I find something that looks super vintage and would be fitting for the room, I learned a little hack on how I can hem curtains without sewing. It's on my Instagram in case you guys didn't see, but that just gave me the option of being able to pretty much find any curtain, even if if it's too long because now I know how to hem them. In my last vlog, I also tried to find myself some throw pillows for the bed and I had no luck. So I'm gonna keep my eye out, not necessarily for cushions because I don't know how I feel about thrifting cushions, but if I do find pillowcase covers that I can obviously throw in the wash and give like a nice good deep clean, that I would be comfortable with. Okay, and then I wanna find a ton of stuff related to the vanity. The one that we found is incredible. I still don't know if I'm gonna leave it as is or I'm gonna try to change it up, but I really wanna complete that little corner. If we can find like a little vanity chair, a vanity mirror, even makeup organization for the inside side because it has like a big drawer that I can use to organize all my stuff and then the last few bits that I'm hoping to find are a side table or a nightstand for right next to my bed so that's just a couple of the stuff I'm gonna be looking out for but with the thrift store you really never know what you might find so let's get hunting <laughs> This is so crazy, you guys. Literally, just like last time, there's another chest here. This one's a little bit smaller. I do have to admit, I like the one I like better because the deeper blue, I think, is definitely nicer. But still so cool to see so many of these. If I don't use mine in the bedroom, I'm for sure gonna use it in the living room because it's such a good way to store kids' toys that still looks really nice. Instead of constantly taking it back to their playroom to just be able to throw all of their toys in here, it's a good idea. I'm telling you guys, I definitely manifested this. In one of my previous videos, I told you guys, if I find a bench for the edge of my bed to put in all of our throws, pillows and stuff it would be the best thing ever well look at this you guys the length is perfect this literally looks like it would be so good by a king size bed and even better this part literally lifts right up and the fabric is removable so i can literally turn it into the bench of my dreams maybe change the feet also oh my god okay guys i just got an idea how cool would it be if that bench had a sherpa 
top. I mean, stuff like this are so freaking expensive and I think I can actually recreate it. All we gotta do is overlay with a Sherpa fabric. And that's why I love coming to the fabric and linen section. I was actually able to find this super thick blanket that has a really high quality Sherpa on one side and it's got this like leathery feel on the other side. I think this as the top of the bench would be so iconic, you guys. It can truly just work out perfectly. I've made it here to the curtain section. I really want to stick to the lighter colors for sure so this is probably where I'm going to be looking but before getting there I wanted to skim the colorful section and I found these stunning like tulle curtains with the tiniest dainty flowers on it I'm just so sad because I looked at the tag over here and it says that it's 55 by 84 inches 84 is just too short for my wall I need at least I'm looking for closer to 98 so I'm gonna have to leave them behind these could have looked so pretty and it's exactly the kind of vintage vibe I'm looking for okay honestly you guys I'm looking through these and a lot of these white ones are just like too crisp and too white. I'm looking for something a little bit more like a chiffon or a tulle. There was this one that had the pretty flowers, but a lot of these are just like too crisp. I don't know how to explain it. Like this is literally from Ikea. Hang on you guys, but I came to the other side and I found these gorgeous like chiffon pink curtains. They just flow so beautifully and I love that they're see-through. So part of me is kind of thinking maybe I should try to get these. It's a good thing though that I brought my tape measure so I can go ahead and check if it's gonna be long enough. Perfect. They are about 95 inches long, which is just what I needed. They're so pretty. And like I said, I would have absolutely loved to be able to find some cool like vintage pillowcases for the throw cushions, not necessarily ones we'll sleep on, but more to decorate the bed with. And over here, I already found some that like, I don't know how to explain it. One side I don't like, but the other side is so cool. Like this little gingham print with the scalp edge. I would have totally picked this up if it was a smaller cushion. Because this one is just overwhelmingly huge. Like I don't even know what I would fit in there. And it's same with this. I don't like this pattern. But the back side has the prettiest dainty pink flowers. If the opening wasn't on the back. Then I would have definitely got this. And, and used this side as the cushion you would see. This one also would have been such a cute option. But there's a random whale on it. But like I said, we'll be hitting multiple thrift stores today. So if I have no luck finding it here, the next store will hopefully have those gems on looking for. And as I've mentioned so many times in previous videos, you guys, the thrift store has like the most beautiful little dainty jewelry holders. I actually bought one already on my last thrift trip. It's a little hard, but definitely keep your eyes peeled because there's a bunch of really good ones here. All right, you guys, I'm at the next thrift store and you could already see exactly what I was looking for. I just found and it's even next to the green so I could see what it's going to look like. But this throw pillow is so gorgeous. It is so the vibe that I wanted. Look at this like little lace on it. This is also removable so I can fully take it out. I'm going to buy some filling and fill it myself and give the cushion like a nice deep clean. It's only $1.99 too, you guys, but this pillow is literally so gorgeous and a perfect size also. All right, you guys, and as much as I just don't think these would look great in my room, I have to show you these beautiful curtains. They only have one panel, but they match that cushion so well. I love the lacing detail. So girly and so beautiful. If I didn't already have so much going on in my room, I would have definitely went for some statement curtains like this. Okay, you guys, I just came to the furniture side and oh my God, I found a stunning mirror. I mean, imagine this on top of my vanity. I'm just a little bit sad because truly, I just think it's way too big to go on top of the table. It'll be bigger than the table. If it was a bit smaller for sure, but it's only $34.99 and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that detail. I am such a sucker for vintage mirrors like this. It's really heavy too. I don't know. Like truly you guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just know that it's way too big for the table. I feel like the table is maybe like ugh, smaller than this. I don't know, but it's so pretty. Mm, I really don't know what to do. I don't know. It's only $34. So part of me is like, can I really leave it behind for 34 bucks? What do you guys think? Comment down below what I should do. Well, as you guys can see, it's coming home with me. Okay, so I've made my way over to the Salvation Army thrift store and it's kind of loud here with the music, you guys, but this place has a bunch of furniture, which I always love. And right away, I already spotted some mirrors. Why are the mirrors so good today? These ones are so stunning. This would have been so nice for a smaller vanity for sure. And then this, is this not one of the most precious mirrors you've ever seen? It's a heart shape and it's so beautiful. Honestly, I feel like I have so much white in my room already, but let's say you had like colored walls, then a white mirror like this would be so pretty. Here's an example. I'm so 
sad I have to leave it behind. I wish I had a place for this in my house because this is gorgeous. Well, you guys, <laughs> let's just say Egan's not going to be happy with me. But I'm happy, so that's what matters. So you guys, I think I'm pretty set when it comes to like the big furniture. Now I'm more looking for like the decor. And I absolutely already love to see some of the things on display here. These like little accessories, this jewelry dish. Maybe if it had like an H or an A or an N for Naomi. But I love the pattern on here. These table books are so beautiful too. It's really all about how you put things together. But if I'm being honest, there's something I kind of want to like work on with myself. If I'm buying home decor, I want to get things that are also practical, not just things that look pretty. Because I notice that sometimes I get all these trays and all these coffee table books and honestly, they're just sitting gathering dust. They don't really like provide enough for the room, you know? So if I could find something like a really pretty dish tray that I can also use as a jewelry catcher or like a pretty little shelf that I could actually use to style something or put my books on, like that will be useful to me and that is my goal with finding things for the room. I don't have a lot of space, so we need functional. Okay, so I'm in the Goodwill little furniture section, and oh my gosh, you guys, this is the chair jackpot. Do you guys remember these chairs? I mean, I see them all over Pinterest. They're usually so expensive. This one is only $15. It's a beautiful light wood. I have to say, I would've totally picked it up. I just feel like the chrome legs just won't suit my room. As much as like, I wouldn't want this with gold legs either, if maybe if it had black. And then over here, I see this wooden chair that would be such a perfect chair for a vanity. I actually already have have something for the vanity so I'm gonna pass but even if you add a little cushion here that could be so nice and I mean come on you guys I mentioned to you the beautiful type of jewelry trays you could find and these ones truly they would suit the mirror we just got so perfectly because it has some bows on it too for just four dollars I'm definitely gonna be picking one of these up oh husband let's just say you're really in for a treat you will not be happy we literally have this thing where we're always joking about how annoyed he gets when I keep ordering a ton of rugs and I get a bunch of like thrifted stuff but to be honest whenever I'm finished my projects he's like okay babe this was sick i'm glad that you got it so at the end of the day it's worth it and it's really become like an ongoing thing that i text him saying that i got a bunch of new mirrors and stuff and he gets so frustrated it's the funniest thing ever yep right over there that's good <laughs> All right, guys, next we open up our own thrift store. We're gonna give you address in the next video. Babe, are you upset? I don't know where the hell you're gonna put this. I know. I'm telling you guys, as soon as I open the door, I'm like, babe, I have some thrift stuff. His face was just like... <laughs> I officially brought everything back home and what I got on day one, which was the vanity table, I actually already put upstairs in my bedroom. Taking a look at it, I actually really like the tone of the wood. I think I'm really just gonna clean it up. Maybe we won't even have to sand it or change it in any way. But I can't believe like this is what I paid for it. How insane is that? It's the perfect size. I have the perfect stool for it already too. But where I'm gonna need your help, you guys, is figuring out which of these mirrors would be really nice above that vanity. You guys can see I'm obsessed with vintage mirrors. This huge one is one that I got for like $100 secondhand. And then I painted to the gold myself but here are the mirror contenders first of all we have this brass one what i love about it is that it's really really long and it will definitely give the room more of like a victorian vibe which is definitely beautiful then we've got this one i just couldn't pass it up you guys this heart-shaped mirror is so stunning i'm gonna pop on the prices of every single one too i love the heart shape the flowers on top obviously it would have to be like a straight heart but this is option number two to go above the vanity and then option number three is this one that i actually thrifted a while ago it's definitely much smaller but if I was to kind of like stand it up to go above the vanity that can be an option as well So we've got the brass mirror the heart mirror and the round mirror Do me a favor right now you guys comment down below which one you think would be really really nice in the bedroom Or look the best paired with the wooden vanity then we've got this chest over here It can either go in the bedroom or i'm actually going to keep it here as a place to kind of keep all of the girls toys And then the final big thing we got is the bench. This one is so stunning I honestly don't even mind the blue velvet. I just feel like right now it's going to be too many colors in my room So my idea was to go ahead and actually do an overlay on it cover it in either a beige fabric or even a sherpa fabric i don't know i have a lot of really good ideas with that one comment down below as well what color you think this bench should be should it be light should it be pink should it be beige should it be sherpa let me know your thoughts below maybe it's just me but i'm actually really loving the navy color in this space it's so pretty but let me show you guys some of the other little accessories that i got obviously all of these need to be thoroughly cleaned disinfected and washed but we got this stunning cushion for 199 I love the lace and the trim detail. I think that will look so pretty as a throw pillow on the bedding. And then honestly, when it comes to the curtains, this could either look stunning or it can literally look like a child's bedroom, but they were so cheap. It was $2.99 for these curtains. So I thought might as well just get them and try it. And if I don't like it, $2.99, it's okay. But really, really pretty little chiffon curtain. We've got some artwork that I definitely want to find a space for in the room. This one for $3.99, I think would look so gorgeous and next to the vanity, just because it's already got like a bunch of vanity details on here. And then 
then these two matching but slightly different ones oh, look at these colors they are so gorgeous i'm telling you like the pink with this kind of green it's gonna look so beautiful in the room and by the way you guys if you're wondering like when am i actually gonna go ahead and do the makeover that's actually gonna be in the next vlog so be sure to subscribe if you're new stay tuned for that next video it's where we're gonna be doing all of these thrift flips and you're gonna be able to help me out with choosing what goes where okay then for 4.99 we have this beautiful little ring dish that i think would be so perfect for the vanity just as a catch-all dish for my jewelry i love the bow detail on the front it is so pretty and just super super delicate and dainty and then these i don't even know if i remember this is like super random it has nothing to do with the room but still thought that i might show it to you you guys know how much i love my coffee most of my vlogs start with these little coffee segments and i was actually able to find these like really cool little glass it has a tiny little spout over here obviously i need to give them a good clean but to be able to brew my coffee in this and then just pour it into my cup to create beautiful aesthetic coffees i love that and it was just two dollars for the set and that is everything that i was able to pick up so far for my dream bedroom as you guys know i love stopping by the thrift store constantly so it's very possible that the next vlog will have even more finds that i found since then this is only what i was able to pick up on two thrift trips so i'm super happy about it if you guys are watching up to this point you are the real mvps we love the ones who stick around all the way till the end i really really love you guys if you are watching up to this point then comment down below thrifty bedroom i think that would be really really fun because that's actually the name of my pinterest board where i get all of this inspiration from and while you're down there please leave a comment which of the mirrors do you think i should go ahead and add to the vanity the gold one the round one or the heart shaped one i cannot wait to take you guys along in the actual makeover for the next vlog where we're gonna do all these fun thrift flips and finally put my dream bedroom together i love you all so much and i can't wait to see you in my next one this what are you gonna do with this this is it's gonna go in our room we don't have any space in our room babe you put already a desk there you have a, plant, not a desk you have a plant hanging on my side of the bed you have to admit every single time i bring something home and i thrift flip it you end up liking it I have no choice <laughs> Can you help me put it upstairs, dude? Oh, my. <laughs>